Hello, this is a very quick short to introduce um, one particular type of sound, uh, an experiment with a glass, a wine glass, and rubbing that glass with uh, the finger, um, trying to create different sounds from that source, and then creating a short snippet of sound, three or four seconds long, from a larger source recording, and making some quite um, invasive uh, developments using a program called C Cecilia and in particular granular synthesis. So to begin with I have this glass rub big file which you can see is 4 minutes 30 long and I'll leave a link to this in the description. Sounds like this. There are some really nice low frequency uh, resonances as well as high frequency pitches. So we have very pure sounds, but also using the wine glass and water. There are some instances where the finger slips and grips against the wine glass creating a lower frequency rub, which are really fascinating. We've got a fairly consistent set of pitches. So from this large sound, I've created a glass rub bit which has a mixture of pure frequency and a more clearly bass-like um, friction. This has gone into Cecilia in the ultimate grainer. Now, one of the things I'm altering here is the density per second. So I've just recorded, um, using the record button here, this fader movement. Um, the density per second is the number of grains that are stacking one on top of the other. Um, and also the grain position. So where in this sound file the grains are being taken from. So these are the two things that are moving. And as you can see, the grain position is moving from this lower end here back towards a slightly more pure sound, hopefully. Um, we are keeping the transposition roughly the same, around zero cents, so it's the same pitch. Be very careful, lower pitches, let's say uh, a good octave below, 1200 cents below, will sound nice, but just be careful when looking at the spectrogram, because all of these harmonics will just drop down an octave, and you'll be left with a sound with um, harmonics and frequency content just between 0 and 10k, which may be fine, but you just need to be aware that you're losing the high frequencies as you drop the, drop the pitch substantially. So I'm keeping the pitch up close to normal. Um, the grain duration is quite long, uh, and I think that works better, but we could end up also modulating this to go right down to something that's quite clicky. As I said, this is quite a invasive uh, extension of the sound and you will be able to hear some of the parameters that are changing. So this sounds like this. So it starts out as blips, becomes quite dense and gradually just releases its density. What we might do is just see how if we move this. Down there, let's see what that sounds like.
that tailing off to some sort of reverb might be really interesting. And so the nice thing about um, Cecilia is formally you can have this as a 20 second sound file or you can have this as a two second sound file. More as a sound object or you could have it over something like a minute. Um, so the same, the same change but over different durations is a really interesting compositional device. Uh, and finally then we can bounce this to disc and give this glass ground one and say, yeah, okay, and replace it, bounce it to disc and load this into here. And it becomes a really nice object. I'll put the link to the sounds in the description um, and in further videos I'll develop more sounds using this granulation software. It's really, really powerful because you can sculpt, record and change all the parameters over time.